Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do a fairly highly requested video. Um, <clears throat> basically, I um, almost every time I show my Bianti binders or include new ones in a haul, I get questions on where I purchase them or how I purchase them and it's not a very complicated process um but at the same time like it's not intuitive either the way i do it is probably a little bit weird but i wanted to show you all how i do it because i think it's pretty accessible for anyone um provided that you just have a computer you should be good and um on top of that um you need a korean address proxy the one I use is Paceable, so we can go there right now. Um, I will obviously like cover up my info and stuff while I'm doing this. <laughs> but basically, yeah, we are here on my Paceable login screen. And the way that I purchase things through Paceable, and you can do this for pretty much any Korean website. Um, for example, if you want to get Sanrio goods on Ducky World, or if you wanted to buy from like Joe and Music or something, and you weren't really sure how to make the payment process work for you, this is how I would do it. Um, Paceable does not function on the weekends, so you need to make sure that whenever you put in the request, if it's time sensitive, like for a fan call, you give yourself enough time, uh, you give them enough time to complete the purchase. It usually only, like, I usually send them in kind of like early morning Korea time, late night America time, and um, like by the time I wake up the next morning, they will have purchased it. So I would say they're pretty fast on purchasing. Um, but yeah, that is just something to keep in mind. For the binders, um, from what I've seen, they usually don't sell out like that quickly. So you should be good, though every so often there is kind of a back order on them. But yeah, basically this is the paceable purchasing form. <laughs> um, I will explain to you how I use it in more detail in a moment, but here's just an overview of what it looks like. Now we are going to do the first one, which is the place where I buy my Beyond D goods, and that is a website called 10 by 10. I found out about 10 by 10 because I used to be really into journaling, um, specifically with Korean stationery. Um, and the site has like literally all that stuff. <laughs> Another thing I would recommend, obviously these are Korean websites. It's good if you have the Google Translate uh, Chrome extension because you know you can automatically translate the pages which will probably make it more easy for you <laughs> since I'm assuming most of the people who are curious about this you know can't read Korean <laughs> um, but you go up to the search bar and you can just type in beyond the like this and scroll down and you will be able to see pretty much the whole beyond the catalog um, it's a pretty wide range of their stuff so, for example, um, we have the Beyond D wide binder, the infamous gal herself, um, the one that all of us are obsessed with. And as you can see on 10 by 10, the price for this is 6,500 won, which should be about four to five dollars, I think. <laughs> so everything is super duper cheap. But let's just say that we're going to buy this so i will stick it in my cart and then let's say that we need to go get something else um let's look at the binder refills so here um you can choose like which kind of binder refill you would like to buy if you're confused on which one is which um if it would load <laughs> sorry bit slow here it's taking a moment um, it will show you basically a diagram of what each um, like pocket style is I can kind of read Hangul so it's pretty easy for me to be able to tell what each one is but you know like you can kind of tell based on the translated title what they are too um, so this I think is the narrow seal sticker and then you know we have like vertical two pocket horizontal two pocket etc um, and there are a pretty wide variety of options for the wide binder for sizes that you can get so 
Um, this is definitely a good thing to pay attention to and they only sell the double-sided ones on 10x10 um, so that is what you are going to get <laughs> if you buy I don't know even if Beyondy still makes the non double-sided wide binder refills but yeah but anyway let's say we want to purchase the photo card one which is number six let's say we want to get two of them and we are going to put it in our shopping cart so now um, if we go back over here, let's take a look. Da, da, da. We can see that we have all these items in our shopping cart and 10 by 10 will estimate the domestic delivery fee for you, which it says, you know, the total is 11,900 bond, which is about 10 bucks. And the delivery fee is 2,500 won which is about like one to two dollars um so obviously very cheap uh for reference if you try to buy the wide binder and pages for it in the u.s from a domestic seller uh the wide binder itself is usually 15 to 20 dollars and then the pages will be a pack of 10 for five dollars each so obviously i think you're getting a better deal if you purchase from a korean website because you can purchase a significantly larger amount for cheaper and you do have to pay for overseas shipping, but because I send a lot of things to my Korean address, it's not really a big deal to me. Like, I'm not, like, you know, I think ultimately the price is more worth it than to buy from a US website, particularly because oftentimes the US websites are out of stock of these items. <laughs> but, you know, like you can do your own research if you are looking for one of those options instead. Regardless, let me show you how the form works now. <laughs> um, so first you have to include the purchase amount. So we see that it is 14,400 won, like so. You put in the shop URL here. So 10 by 10, go KR. And then um, this is kind of for personal reference to put in the shop name on Paceable, but that way you can just keep track of your order. And you can use this kind of stuff to your own discretion, but I never really check these because I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> um, anyway, then we can go down here. And so we need the product information now. So if you're doing something that only has one, sorry, let me click on this. If you're doing something that only has one option, like the Beyond D wide binder is just the Beyond D wide binder. Then purchasing it will look like this. You put in the URL. Um, I will translate it back to Korean to get the product title. And then there is no option and you just put in the quantity you want, which is one. But in Converse, if um, what you want to purchase is something that is has options so as you can see here we have the choose an option drop down um, it will look a little bit different so you can put the product url in again and you know we go and we get the product name not that much i'm doing this one-handed to hold up my phone as a microphone so this is a little bit fuji <laughs> but then for option you know we have to go photo card is number six so I go here and I highlight this, put it here. We say we want two photo card pages. If perhaps you want another kind of pages, you can just add to the option section, put in another one, another one, so on and so forth, until you have um, put in as many as you feel like you need. Then at that point, um, I you can get Paceable to send things to your home address directly. Um, but then you will have to factor in international shipping. <laughs> but I just have them sent to my Korean address, click the box, order, and it gives you an order total. You pay with PayPal and look at that. For a binder and 20 pages, it's only $15.12, uh, which is pretty cheap. <laughs> then you can, you know, you pay to PayPal, they ship it to the address. It usually takes only a few days to arrive because Korean shipping is super fast and super cheap for some reason. Um, and then, you know, you can send in a delivery request and get it sent to your house. So 
that is how I get Beyondia items. Um, but I also just wanted to quickly show you how I get things from Luca Lab, because I know a lot of people are very curious about the um, composition binder. Um, so the best way to get stuff from Luca Lab, you can find some of it on 10 by 10. Oh my God. There's like this virus that's on my Chrome for some reason. It's driving me absolutely fucking nuts. Sorry. <laughs> it like opens random shit when I click on links, which is really not good, but I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, anyway, unrelated. <laughs> so, um, there is some Luca Lab stuff that is available on 10 by 10 but it isn't the full catalog of Luca Lab items. So you can find some of the things, but you might not be able to find as much as would be in stock on their own website. Um, so I would personally recommend ordering from their website, but you can just order from 10 by 10 too. Um, but obviously the thing that people are most interested in is the Luca Lab diary covers. And um, I know a decent amount about Luca Lab, so let me tell you their system. What you want to buy is the A5 size binder. Um, the Luca Lab has their own special binder size called the Archive. That is about an A7 to a B6 size, um, but it is not compatible with anything except for Luca Lab's archive size pages that they have. <laughs> so unlike the A5 binders, you will not be able to put binder pages in these. So when you are purchasing, make sure that you pick the A5 size. Um, and then on top, of, on top of that, there is something else to note about Luca Lab, which is the ring size. So there is the A5 19R ring, which will get you all of the fun colors for the composition binder. Um, and I think that's also the ring size for kind of any other regular A5 binders they have. But then there is the 25R ring, and that one is the one that I use for my Enmix binder. It is a wider ring, um, so it can fit a significantly larger amount of pages. It's more similar to the Beyond D A5 binder size, um, and <laughs> In my opinion, even though the black is not as fun, you know, like you can still decorate it. I think it's more worth it to get that one. Um, it looks like they actually have added some other colors in the 25R. So it looks like you can also get blue and pink now. When I originally ordered mine, you could only get the black, but yeah. They also have these covers that you can put over it so it doesn't get damaged, stuff like that. And you know, lots of pages and whatever. And you can just buy from here and send it directly to your house. Luca Lab's website does ship internationally, but they only have free shipping on orders over $100. <laughs> and then besides that, their shipping is very expensive. So I would recommend just putting in another order request, sending it to your Korean address, and then <laughs> consolidating the shipping later, um, just so it's less expensive, unless you are planning to buy over $100 of stationery, which like, good for you, honestly. <laughs> but that is the important thing to note about Luca Lab. Um, you just have to keep in mind that you are very careful when you're buying their binders because you will sorely regret it if you buy the archive size <laughs> because it is not going to work for your photocard binders. Um, for journaling, it's a great option, but for uh, <laughs> photocard storing, it's not going to be so helpful because there's not pages, there's not binder pages that are compatible to photocards for the archive size. So just make sure you keep a lookout on that, but they do have a lot of really cute A5 binders here. Um, that I would, you know, recommend you taking a look at also if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, on top of that, of course, you can also just go on 10 by 10 go to the stationery, and there is an incredibly large amount of stuff on here. Um, so if you're just looking for any kind of cute A5 binder, I'm sure you will be able to find one on 10 by 10 The Minuet minuet macaron ones are another favorite of mine i haven't bought one but i think they're super pretty um and yeah there's just like a whole bunch of options that could be available to you um and i just wanted to make this video to give you an idea of all the um, stuff you could have access to um obviously this is not sponsored by anything or anything like that i'm not important enough for a sponsorship um I just wanted to make this to hopefully be helpful to people who are really wanting to get this um, 
Korean binder supplies, uh, but they're not really sure how to access it. Um, and yeah, this is the way I do it. I'm sure there are plenty of other ways. If you know how to purchase with a like Korean bank account and stuff, you know, you can do all that yourself. But for me, it's easier to just have Paceable do it for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is kind of it for this video. Um, I really hope that you have found this helpful. Um, that is the thing that I was trying to do first and foremost. If there's anything you're still confused on, please feel free to leave me a comment or send me a DM on Instagram and I can try my best to explain things to you. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you have stuck up to this point, I really hope you enjoy. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. I just hit my water bottle. <laughs> I hope that you have a great rest of your day. I hope that you are doing well. And I hope that I will see you again soon. Bye. Go back. Panda. Oh. Go back. Panda. 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 Panda.